Welcome to a talk about our paper IDO, Augmented Reality Dashboards to Supervise Mobile Intervention Studies. This work was done at the University of Constance by me, Katja Fock, and my co-authors Sebastian Hubenschmidt, Johannes Zagermann, Simon Butcher and Harald Reiterer. Mobile intervention studies use mobile devices to observe the participants' behavior change over several weeks. We refer in our paper to a real-world mobile intervention study that were conducted by a research consortium consisting of psychologists and human computer researchers. The study, called My Life, measures physical activity in everyday life with the aim to investigate how technology can improve mental and physical health. Participants wear a movement sensor to track the steps and the activity level per minute. Also, a custom smartphone application was developed for this study. This smartphone application is able to feedback the physical activity to a study participants on a daily basis and collects additional data via questionnaires. The participants, around 20 to 40 people per wrong time, used the tracking tools over five to seven weeks. This results in high dimensional data streams that have to be constantly monitored to prevent data loss and ensure data quality. We wanted to help this researcher in the supervision of these mobile intervention studies. And so we conducted a focus group with the help of five psychologist domain experts. We gained understanding how the supervision of the data collection can improve the data quality and also what requirements they have for a future system. We ask questions about the current workflows, critical situations and communication activities across the team and with the participants. Based on the conducted focus group and their needs, interactive dashboards are a good solution. Such dashboards can support the human ability to identify patterns and irregularities, which enables quick intervention to prevent or correct these issues. However, visualizing this amount of high-dimensional data may rise the need for extra screen space. A possibility to have more screen space could be multi-monitor setup to visualize this amount of data. A viable alternative to such multi-monitor setups are head-mounted mixed reality devices. These devices offer interesting possibilities and become affordable for consumers. Advantages of head-mounted displays are they are more flexible regarding workflows and they are location independent. In addition, a single device allows to create numerous dashboards that can be scaled or placed based on workflows, preferences and physical surroundings, especially when compared to multi-monitor setups. They are also enable an egocentric navigation and encourage physical activity. Research already shows the benefits of using augmented reality devices for visualizing data. Also, recent research has shown that mobile devices can offset some of the disadvantages commonly associated with augmented reality. Multimodal interaction are promising interaction techniques for such a system. For example, by adding familiar smartphone-based touch interaction, as researchers have already shown in their work. Based on the requirements identified in the focus group and the insights gained from related work, we designed IDR. IDR, which stands for Interactive Dashboards and Augmented Reality, helps researchers to supervise high-dimensional data with a multimodal interaction approach. As you can see in the teaser image, we use the combination of a head-mount display, the Microsoft HoloLens, and a mobile phone. The combination enables users to interact with different interaction techniques with the dashboards in the three dimensions. IDEA uses four dashboards to provide users with information about an ongoing study. The main dashboard displays a summarized view. The dashboards use simple and well-known visualizations like line charts or bar charts. Therefore, it allows users to quickly spot irregularities. 
values marked in red provide predefined alerts which need further investigations by the researchers. Additional dashboards are the day dashboard, which offers information about the selected day, and the participant dashboard, which provides detailed information about the selected participant. The fourth dashboard helps to create or manage detection rules and see notifications of them. In the following video, you will see the recorded augmented reality view of a user. The user looks at the day dashboard, which shows the day of the study with an overview of all participants' data of the chosen day. Users can choose three interaction techniques to interact with the prototype. Head gaze combined with smartphone-based touch, head gaze combined with voice commands, or smartphone-based touch. We conducted a user study to evaluate if the idea or prototype can fulfill the requirements of the real world. 15 domain experts, all working within the psychology department, have participated. In the picture, you see the setting of our user study. The participants were standing in an office with a walkable area of 3 to 2.5 meters. So they were able to move around freely and navigate naturally within augmented reality and the distributed dashboards. During the study, the participants were wearing a Microsoft HoloLens as a head-mounted display and used the Samsung Galaxy as a handheld device. The participants had to complete two tasks, which we have designed on the basis of their daily activities. So in the first task, they have to detect irregularities in the data, handling the errors and informing the participant. The second task was to define a database rule to detect unrealistic movement data per day. We had the possibility to work with a real-world dataset of the MyLab intervention study, which was completed a few weeks before our study. The experimenter used a laptop to control the procedure. Additionally, she had a tablet that showed the observer mode. That allowed to observe the view of the participant's augmented reality and also see the real-time view of the participant's smartphone without intruding the user experience of augmented reality. The focus of the user study was to gain insights with qualitative measurements. We investigated four research questions, such as the use of multimodal interaction, cross-device interaction, user experience and applicability. To answer these research objectives, we employed several data collection methods. Based on our findings in these four areas, we provide implications for research and design that can help researchers to study and design interactive dashboards in augmented reality. In the following, I will go into more detail on research objectives 3 and 4. To evaluate the user experience of the IDR prototype, we conducted a user experience questionnaire. As you see in the visualization, the attractiveness scale was rather good, and the two hedonic scales, stimulation and novelty, show remarkable good means. These values might be related to the prior knowledge, the expectations of the participants, and the novelty of the prototype. The pragmatic scales were a bit lower. For example, a participant mentioned, you have to get used to IDR a bit in order to know where what is located and how to use it. This rating and the concluding interviews have shown a high user experience of the IDR prototype, but also weaknesses. For example, wearing a head-mount display for the duration of a study session. To overcome how much the novelty effect influences the study outcome of the IDR prototype, a longitudinal research is necessary. So with a longitudinal research, we could detect which strengths can be attributed to a novelty effect and which one to the prototype. The system is based on the needs of the researchers to supervise mobile intervention studies. So we wanted to investigate whether the system is applicable. 
Participants appreciated the interactive dashboard as a major improvement to their current work practices, as they allow for at a glance overviews on different levels of granularity. Participant 6 said in the interviews afterwards, I think it was refreshing to have different dashboards, because I had the feeling you see a lot. They support you in getting the answers to different questions you may have. Also, they value the visualization in augmented reality as they provide a certain degree of immersion, allowing them to move around in the data as participant 10 mentioned. They also compared it to their current work practices. Participant number 3 stated, When I imagine to analyze this amount of data with a computer, that will not work, because also with 5 screens, I will continuously have to click around and the comparison of the data points would not be that good. Overall, 11 of 15 domain experts could imagine using IDR in the future. These results could lead to future work such as a comparison of augmented reality environments with equivalent multimodal setups to study differences. Future work could also look into IDR's collaboration possibilities. Here, Combining IDEO with our observer mode could lead to interesting collaboration patterns. So with this work, we contribute to the non-explored use case of supervising mobile intervention studies with interactive augmented reality dashboards. If you are interested in more detail on our work, please feel free to read our paper. Thank you for your attention.